Hey, hey, all right. So we are live. Welcome back to the Actors Dungeon, everybody. As you can see, we have a, a smaller group with us today. Everybody needed a little bit more time to uh, recuperate after uh, last session's, uh, well, event. <coughs> so, shenanigans. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of returning folks. So, as you know, yeah, we like to have uh, it's classic uh, tabletop RPGs. We're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Then there are... Oh, thank you, Queenie. That's very kind of you. And then there are a few uh, improv hijinks uh, peppered throughout. We're still finding what works and what doesn't work, so please uh, feel free to leave your comments if we gave you the ha-ha-has or the boos. There is also the opportunity to uh, give your favorite player or dungeon master a bit of a bonus uh the rose if you throw roses into the chat they will uh give the players a re-roll if you throw a tomato into the chat that allows me to uh do a re-roll for an npc or order uh, one of my players to uh re-roll a success so it may become a failure ha 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 uh hideous laughter etc etc so now we are going to start off again with our recap, and we are, uh, do, do, do. let me just quickly bring this up and pop this in the chat. So, <coughs> ooh, got some neat sound effects in here. No, it's just me clearing my throat. <laughs> Same thing. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, I set this out for five people, so... Oops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll just have the so. guests read them. <laughs> uh, let's... Do we want to do that? Uh, James, Tom, do you guys feel like doing some reading? Say yes or yeah. it'll hurt his feelings. <laughs> I'm on my iPhone. I can't. I'm sorry or else I would. No worries. <laughs> Uh, I'll start off as one. <clears throat> Sorry, um, my PDFs always have a weird thing of appearing on the uh, monitor I don't want them on, even though the. Just make sure that that has. Root of it. Gone back. Eh, no, no, right? You'd think. You'd think, but alas. Alright, so. Uh, the players will be given a secret prompt. And. Um, uh, just in the chat or the uh, judges, uh, see if you can guess what their prompt might have been. Um, where eh, it doesn't matter if you don't get it; they're everybody's going to start with one rose anyway. All right, so uh, let me quickly put the prompts into our super secret Discord thread. I'm just going to keep it simple today. For some reason, struggling to find Kurt on my message board. There he is. <laughs> oh, wait, that is too mean for your uh, current vocal conditions. Give it to me. If you insist. What do you mean you gave him a heavy metal singer? <laughs> Alrighty, it's always so been an I, impressive skill. <laughs> I will start off by reading uh, part one of the recap. Uh, Kurt, you will be part two. Charlie, part three. Ryan, part four. And then uh, we'll come All back together to... for five. All together for five. Thank you, Ryan. I like this. All right. The audience won't, but we'll have fun. <laughs> All right, so audience, um, feel free as you, uh, if you think oh, you can guess who these people are, write it in chat. Uh, judges, if you think you know, uh, feel free to come in right after the uh, performance if you want to take a guess or save it all to the end. Uh, we'll have at it. So, 
I will start. I have no secret prompt because I'm the boss. The players fought their, w fought their most challenging battle yet. After making their way through the swamplands of this dark and malevolent forest, the party found the root of the evil on Leto's island, Nore, the sinister spirit of the lost druid clan. She appeared to them as a spirit, but her evil essence was deep inside the gnarled tree in the clearing. Right. And Mac offered his friendship, but was scorned for his insolence. The ghost dreadful screams awakened the great tree, summoned the werewolves to the battlefield, and chilled our heroes to their very bones. They quickly took up fighting position and fought back against the dreadful foe. That'll get you next time. But the battle was not so easy. Judy was bitten and succumbed to the werewolf's curse. Glass threatened to blow the tree with a powder keg, but was instead gutted by a scythe-like blades on the tree and fell dead on the battlefield. But he got better! Mac, determined to find a solution before his comrades fell, stepped forward and bargained with Nore. He would take her essence from the tree and take her with them on a journey. Nore accepted, but Mac suffered other consequences. Three, two, one. Meanwhile, back at the battle of the Soon the man who had the ship and 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 ship uh, All right, yeah, who's no. got guesses? Who's got guesses? Was Kurt by chance Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget? Spot yes. Spot on. Yay. That's also what I had. Nice. How about Charlie? Could not figure it out. Ah. Charlie, were you goofy? I was not. Uh, it was unfortunate. About midway through, I noticed that I was actually like leaning towards that, and I'm like, "God damn it!" It I also doesn't worried. help that I, I, I don't uh, really know that voice. <laughs> but uh, close, uh, Goofy is a cl is close because it has some of the same cadences. Uh, Charlie yes. was uh, Barney the dinosaur. Hey, I was right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I nice. love you. You love me. All right, Ryan. Uh, who's uh, who could figure out Ryan's? Mario. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that, that or a very horrible Italian stereotype. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> what's the... <laughs> Is right. it well... better to be born good or to overcome your evil in nature through great effort? Did you know uh, Mario's first name is actually Japanese? Uh, I've heard this one. I think you've done it before in this yeah. chat. Yeah. It's Umi. <laughs> Screw you. You're terrible. <laughs> you I made me do Barney the Dinosaur. You know what? <laughs> yeah. You know okay. what? You earned that. Oh, just like the M on his hat does not stand for Mario. It actually stands for Metroid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's actually canonically Mario Mario. I'm not kidding. Right. This isn't a joke. I, this is no, I know. That's, uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. it... All right, so the only way ah. to begin is by beginning. You all stand Crazy in the clearing of the I'm forest. Ah. Vlas, ah. somehow you've managed to hold your guts together. Your armor soaked with your own blood as these creatures that were once werewolves kind of stagger to their feet and before you <clears throat> Mac his arm completely wrapped in wood 
with blood-like, vein-like vines dripping along his arm. <clears throat> there he is. Uh, is he? Is he all right? <sighs> I, I'm not. Uh, oh God, I'm not entirely sure, Mac. Hi. You're um. <sighs> Picking up gardening, or is something going on there? I don't know. It just happened. I think I think I did something bad. Oh, good. Oh, lovely. Oh. All right. You could How say I'm heck? really mourning my my original arm. Could call it like mourning wood. You know what? I can't even be mad. It's a solid pun. Yeah, yeah but... I'm kind of the one suffering here, so I have immunity. You can't really get mad at me. I mean, I can. I just don't have any reason to. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Definitely pulled something. Oh, Judy Sorry. staggers forward with the blood dripping from the bite marks along her arm. <sighs> There's a panic in her eye. The failing comes down from her tree and offers... Offer support. <laughs> Sorry, reading the chat. <clears throat> Thank you, Bri Bear. Want to do your failing impression? Yeah, I'm not <sighs> doing that. Uh, oh, <sighs> Judy. Uh, did you step on my turtles? I'll fuck you up. That's the best. That's basically. Run really fast. What? <laughs> did this? She's still talking about. <clears throat> Judy and just so starts freaking out. I've been bitten. I'm cursed. All right, calm down. We got rid of these people's curses, didn't we? No. Yeah, we've kind of cured like several people now. Don't worry. It's fine. Oh, well, then all right then. You got bit. Yeah, that must be terrible. Uh. Uh. Here, here, oh, for, for God's sake, Flash. Here. here. Then I reach into the bag and pull out a healing potion. So just keep that on your inside. Funny. Thank you. Love him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always weird when you can feel the kidney restaching itself. Drink your juice. He's got it. Well, that feels disgusting. Yeah, that one was... I purposely gave you the grapefruit-flavored one. I don't like grapefruit. Thanks. Right. No problem. And Vlas, you heal the... You feel the feel... Uh, I can't do this. You feel the healing energy flowing through you. Oh, that is so much better. Oh. I think a vial of tears might help. No. <sighs> okay. Good effort, though. I say I gotta hold my guts in now. Yeah, well, that's good. Um, so now that I got a Mac and a tree arm, that's concerning. Uh, Black yeah. is no longer bleeding out his intestines. Phelan seems to be all right. Judy's um, I'll be all right. I just I need to find a cleric or. Some other way of removing the curse. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll have to. I don't know what to expect when we get back, but is it gone? And she looks to you, Mac, and you look at Judy, and there's something else about her that you notice. You can feel her essence has been added to yours. It's like she's a super friend. Super friend. Is what? he okay? Uh, honestly, I'm always it, he's, okay. He's kind. He's kind of fucked up in general, so it's hard to gauge. Yeah. I like the arm. I want to know what it tastes like. It tastes Cases. like um. Ah, uh, you think about that time you uh, got sent, uh, sent on a walk without any supper as a punishment for trying to force your uh, cousins to be your friend and 
you were so hungry you just started gnawing on the edge of a tree and it tastes just like gnawing on the edge of a tree wow it's a tree that was a very poetic explanation for just saying it tastes like tree mm. who are you talking to I don't know, I just hear stuff sometimes. Oh! Good. So you have a fresh wood knob and you hear voices. Fantastic. We should go. Um, let's just I, do a, a quick... I, I think he was hearing the voices before he got wounded, to be quite honest. It surprisingly, was the voice of friendship. Yeah, surprisingly that doesn't actually make me feel better. Um, I'm just going to do a, a, a once over of the like where the tree was and the battlefield kind of investigate the see if there's anything kind of kicking around, making right. sure that the danger has passed, as it were. All right. So, Charlie, the first thing that Erdin notices is, of course, the lights have gone out. And now that the lights have gone out, you're noticing this area is a little quieter. Um, there's a calmness to it now that definitely wasn't there before, but you can see the tree looks withered. It's as if it has suddenly experienced, uh, 10 years of rot and decay now that the heart has been plucked from it. Looking around, the other survivors are kind of getting up in their tattered clothes and they're congregating over to you and Judy and asking what what happened how did we get here oh my god am i one uh, of the wolves well you don't need more yeah you were a werewolf where no it's work because they're not anymore <laughs> it's a joke i'm being a funny little guy that's two very good. I'm learning. Very good. That was a solid pun. Blast, did you hear that? Yeah. Ned. He's getting better. I, uh, I just... He's still, com still complaining. Yeah, I am, actually. Fair enough. I got right. struck by lightning on the ship and I didn't complain. Oh, we should definitely go. Fair enough. All right. So you all begin trudging your way back through the forest. And it's... All seems fairly quiet again. Until you... And you make your way to the forest edge. By now, you are all beginning to feel exhausted. As I'm kind of sleepy. Uh, yeah, me too. Should probably get some rest. Yeah, it's too bad the innkeeper's dead. Yep. Do you think that means we could squat there? We're not squatting in the inn. Chances are they still have to pay. Yep. It's very terrible. <clears throat> <sighs> Right. And you guys make camp and you enjoy a, a meal of rations and a rather uneasy night's sleep. Are these other weirdos staying with us? Oh yeah. Are they? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the whole, all the NPCs, there's some um, just three ex werewolves and Judy staying with you currently. Oops, that's not what I want. Get an overnight rest. Right. Yay! Mm -hmm. And you guys wake to a gray dawn. Mac, you're feeling wonderful. In fact, you found it very difficult to sleep. You're Mind was up all night. Uh, 
giving you all these stories about the island and all the fun people that used to be here and all the fun <laughs> animals that used to run around and it's just wonderful. I've never dreamt waking up before. He's he's already starting. He's uh, already Mac, starting. I I know, Mac. Mac, you you I... have to give you have to give us like an hour before you start in with the weird shit. I've I've been up all night. It's been hours for me. Why? I, don't know, I couldn't sleep. <sighs> Weren't you just saying that you were so sleepy? Yeah, I changed my mind. Of course you did. All right. And so, uh, this I'd like to take a moment to try our first improv game of the night. And if anybody in the chat has uh, any uh, suggestions, I'm going to do a variation of our sound effects game. Each one of you was woken up at some point because of one random sound effect. Um, the player telling the story will provide the sound effect. <clears throat> And the other two players will speculate on what that sound effect might have been. Um, since uh, he was uh, starting, uh, let's begin with Mac. What did you hear during the night, Mac? Because there was a bunch of a bunch of like fluttering and whistling in the the distance, and it kept me up a little bit because it kept happening every so often, and it was just. I had trouble focusing on sleep, so I focused on that. On the, the fluttering. Yeah. And whistling. Yeah. Both at the same time. I mean, like, sometimes. Sometimes it would overlap, sometimes it was just one or the other. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? I honestly, I don't even know. Um, but I mean, I mean that's true. I mean the fluttering tracks. I thought I, I heard a. Um... <laughs> it was weird. Uh, my mother and father used to tell me uh, used to tell us stories about uh, my brother and I um, about their adventuring days and such, and uh, told me this story. They were going through a going through a rather large swamp, and uh, they heard this weird noise. Um, oh god, what does it sound like? Hang on. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Something like that. Anyway, I can't, I, I can't do animal noises. Anyway, my first impre- uh, my, my first thought was it was a dying giraffe. But apparently what it was, uh, was in fact a, maje- according to my father, a majestic swamp duck. And they, um... They they tend to gather around in small in small groups. Uh, it's weird, even uh, even like trolls and and such. Just kind of like they like looking at them, and then they'll flutter away, which is really strange because trolls normally eat everything, except swamp ducks. I actually need you to back up like three steps. Mm. You have giraffes. Like you just like, think it's a giraffe just lying around where you live? Are they that common? No, most, I mean, they were common. There was that one guy that had the menagerie in the Colosseum. But no, it, uh, giraffes are weird. Uh, I've seen two in person. Um, they do not like uh, saddles and people. I heard they like horses. But really big. Sure. Wow. Uh, I got woken up by something in the middle of the night multiple times that I could have swore was the sound of like a wolf trying to force an acorn, uh, trying to force a pine cone out of its ass. Hey, which one of you guys was it? I mean, do, do you do you know what that sounds like? I don't know. Let's ask one of the wolves it, over here. It was like. It was like someone made an accordion out of a wolf. And with every little prick of the pine cone that was coming out, you just you just heard <laughs> It's like it was twisting coming out. Do you do you know what that's like to wake up in the middle of the night to hear that? 
I mean, yeah, we ate Bowen's hole. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. Yeah. Um, and you really... know, you, you know what it was. Was it you? No. Do you want to know what it was? Oh, no, that's a rhetorical question. I thought you were just going to continue. You, do, you, do you know what it winded up being? Do you want to finish that sentence instead of just leaving us hanging? It's incredibly. It was difficult. a raccoon. It was a <sighs> raccoon, and he was right up there. You guys have raccoons where you're from? You, you Do they hang find... out with the giraffes? Yeah. And you could find him over there in their bushes, because after he finally got it out, he passed out and fell to the ground. Watch the whole I mean, thing. I mean, I mean, if it's uh, if it, if it's was as bad as it sounded, uh, I would imagine. I mean, I've had a really couple of I, I had a couple of really, really rough nights. My aunt used to make cheese, and she would visit the family. And afterwards, wow, was it difficult? So I can only imagine. I mean, there were times you, you would pass it, and then you just you would just want a nap afterwards. That's understandable. It's like that time I had to hide that treasure that I found in my prison purse. I mean, that was just... It, uh... wasn't very... Yeah. And it wasn't Bef coins, either. Before we get into another... unpleasant tale about what we've <laughs> all inserted into ourselves or pushed out of ourselves, Judy staggers forward from her uh, little camping spot. Her arm is now done up in a sling. I'd say we get back to the village. It's, and, well, see what happens from there. Obviously, the curse is passed, and she looks warily to Mac, and we can continue... Hi. Or you can continue getting your ship done, and fulfill your end of the bargain. And she... Oh, fantastic. Thank I you still for... think that guy's gonna like, <clears throat> kill us when we get back, though. Oh, Rune? Yeah, I've got my suspicions about him. Um, yeah, actually, uh, uh, Judy, thank you so much for uh, being a guide. We probably never would have made it this far. Um, your payment. And I'll flip her a silver coin. <clears throat> Alright. My payment? And Fantastic, it didn't burn. Not yet. My transformation won't take until the full moon. Right, so the townspeople don't know that, so everyone play with a silver coin. Yep. Oh. Well, yep. Oh. Wow, everyone gets money. Yeah. Smart. So, shall we? Right. So you guys, I, uh, you guys go back the way you came. It's and the turtles you, there. <laughs> you, the turtles are no longer there. You pass by, uh, 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 where you the same area where you saw the turtles just um, about a day before, and uh, no turtles. Just the, the corpse trail. of a uh, Huggleberry Finn still there? Yes, uh, the corpse Huggle of the uh, Berry serpent Finn. That's what we agreed on the name. I think I forget. It was like five weeks ago. The corpse of the serpent remains. Uh, I no. May he rest in peace, that sweet prince. You realize you led one of the most dangerous <clears throat> creatures straight to us. Well, he wasn't that dangerous. You beheaded him in like one swing. <laughs> Just kind of like as we're as we're walking, I'll be looking back at the uh, townspeople. All right, step lively. We're almost home. Like step on the neck of the of the, of the thing and just don't even break stride. Just keep going. What happens? Disrespect. He paints this poor old heart. Wild thing. <clears throat> All right. I kicked it. 
<laughs> ah, that's weird. <clears throat> Alright, so it isn't long before you all uh, approach the uh, the town of Lido's village. So I'm quickly trying a sound effect. Um, but it's called Approach with Sobbing, so I'm wondering why there's going to be crying. Hmm. A uh, dramatic pause as I um, kind of come up with a better uh, sound palette here. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Technical difficulty. Technical. Is that it? Or? I didn't even get paid for that. Just saying. We don't get paid for any of this. I know. I thought we got paid in friendship, Mac. I mean, I do. You guys seem to be really against that kind of thing. Alrighty. Oh, yes, there was the sobbing. Alright, so, dramatic resume. We come up on Leto's village. There is a gray sky hanging over the town. Um, the usual hustle and bustle can't be heard. It seems oddly quiet, but not <coughs> silent. There is still some, uh, some milling about, some commotion here and there, but uh, it just seems as though whoever is here they might be shut up in their homes, or the markets are all closed, and <clears throat> the inn is boarded up, and there's been a little bit more construction on keeping the ho people keeping their homes sealed off. All right. I'll look at the townsfolk. Um, you good from here, or do you want an escort home? No, they, as soon as you say that, they pretty much just run in. Thank you for the You're walk welcome. home. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for the walk home, not like ending a curse that was gripping me in the townsfolk. No, no, thank you for the escort. And got him uh, food last night. Right? Yeah, they got a free meal out of me. Some people. <clears throat> so should uh, we go see if we get a boat or a knife? One of the two? Or a knife? I yeah, because, uh, I mean, the guy's probably going to stab us. Let's be oh, real. yeah, he's, he's more than likely going to try and get um, but Yeah, just uh, stay on, uh, stay on uh, alert. <sighs> you know what, I'm normally up for a fight, but at this point, this island sucks. I just want the boat. I want to get away, as far away from here as possible. Did you Leo's not, like, Island more like Loser's Island. Do, do you, um, did you not, like, heal at all from that rest? In the slightest? Yeah, I healed, but this whole... This island is horrible. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, you know, even I could tell that. The cannabis was lovely. Glass, but no, as they, you say that, that, um, you're... Thieves instincts immediately go from looking at the uh, the boarded up houses to the shadows in the alleys where you distinctly see a couple faces peering over their shoulder to get a look at you and then scamper off. Well, well, well. So, what do you got? I think we might have some I think we might have some company. Are your assy senses tingling? Thieves, <clears throat> no thieves. Yeah, it's just he doesn't like anyone coming at him from behind. Yeah. Blast the impervious ass. Oh, Unpenetrable glass. Well, considering I'm the one who's constantly taking stuff in the ass during this whole adventure. 
I, we, we, hey. I don't know. It seems mainly that, targeted on your torso recently, at least. Glass, well, where it mainly at lands. Glass, no one judges, all right? No one, no one's gonna, no one here is gonna yuck your yum. To, it's just. I like yucky yums. Uh, it would take too long to explain. Let's just. Yep. Go. Yeah. Hey, keep your eyes peeled, please. Uh, silver coins out. Where's mine? I don't know. Where'd you put it? I have dark vision. I don't know if that means I can see into the alleys a bit better, but... Uh, actually, Vlas also has dark vision. But you... Oh yes, my god! You. you are able to... For you, the shadows are just a darker shade of gray, but um, when you peer in, this person seems to uh seems to have vanished are they super friends mac you for some reason feel like you know exactly where they are you can almost taste them it's strange and your wooden arm yearns to touch them my other arm does too. I love hugs. Okay, you're doing it again. Yeah. I no, heard no. the guy again. Right, okay, I, I don't... It's helped me to touch people. What? No. That is... What? Why? Uh... I don't know. Ask them. I didn't choose it. Oh. Like, like I said... This this island cannot get any more worse. I have the stranger to touch people with my wood. I'm just okay. Point at Mac. You stop making innuendos. You, uh, I'm the, not at, being uh, literal. Point at point at Flash. You don't ever say that when we're not out of the job yet. Let's just hey, then. go and spring this trap that's obviously coming. Oh, yes. Let's spring another trap. Yeah. Well, what else are we going to do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we can rip out your entrails this time. Actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm down for that. Then we can right. be, uh, we, we can be, uh, maybe, what was it? Uh, is it? Twins. Yeah. There we go. Look, I'm flattered that you want to get matching tattoos, but we don't have time. And I'll just, like, turn and walk away. <laughs> what? You don't want... Okay. You don't want to be a human souffle as well? All right. All right, so... Eric, didn't you step through the gate and kind of go <laughs> on the main uh, dirt road towards the market? You can go... The inn looks empty and boarded up. Uh, there is the pathway up to Rune's Manor, um, or there's the way back down to your ship. I'm or if... going to the ship. All right. So, Aridin starts walking down towards the ship. Hey, where are you going? The ship? I thought we were going to go see the... The townspeople. Half of our ship like gone anyway. And most of the townspeople were tasked with fixing the ship. Oh yeah. Alright, wait for me, I'm coming. Okay. Alright, so you all <clears throat> head down to the pier. Um, as you go. That ominous and foreboding feeling doesn't really seem to leave. Judy... I'll, ha I'll have my shield out and strapped to my arm. Judy comes up a little closer to you, Vlas. I don't like this. There's something fishy. And it's not just the harbor. Uh, I see what you did there. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, 
Before long, you um, guys find yourself. I'll hand uh, Judy a, a healing potion just to get rid of the bite marks. Huh. Thank you. Again, coins out. We get to fight hillbillies and superstition. What fun! She takes it and just kind of tries to smooth out the werewolf bite. When what am I doing? I'm like that's gonna do anything? You know, very least it'll seal the wound. Hmm. Wear something with sleeves. Mac, you still feel kind of delighted. All these all these friends that you haven't seen for so long. It feels like it's been ages. I should catch up with everybody. I gotta ask how the kids are doing. Just thinking out loud. I heard him. Mm. Maybe it's just me. Or I'm starting to have a feeling somebody knew that our uh, floating friend was out there. Yeah. And now they know that she's back in town. Go that oh, far. We I mean, I've been living here for ages and kept my ear to the ground. Nobody, nobody seemed to know too much except for the old innkeeper. Runes always had his mind on. Always had my mind on what? Rune steps forward on board the urchin, peering down at the rest of you. And from behind him, there are 16 men holding crossbows. Cute. Hi. The werewolf problem's been dealt with. Oh, really? Oh. Well, what do really? you know? They've dealt with the werewolf problem. Oh. Well. My apologies. Bravo. Uh, why didn't you tell me you were... And uh, he snaps to one of the other guards and brings out Cordelia. Uh, Aridin, you... Aridin and Vlas, you don't know who this is, but Mac, this is that friendly werewolf whose mouth you jumped into. Hi! Um, and helped her become a human again. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> My arm's really itchy right now. You had... You had a <laughs> werewolf on your ship. Your... And <laughs> he looks around and points to Alexander. Your gnome was bitten. I don't well, in think... some fairness, and then you I come did. Here, you come here and you demand I build you a warship. You offered! Yeah, hey, pal. All I did was make a suggestion, and you went on. You went on board with it. All you, you did. You took our drugs and our rat, and you said I'll give. I'll give you a battleship. And Vlas, at that comment, uh, two people come by. They point at you, and not that's him. That's the man who killed. My grandfather. He threw him into the water. I saw him. Who's your grandfather? I didn't do nothing. It's the, the old, he liked to fish over there on that rock. Okay. That, that tells me what he liked to do. It doesn't tell me who he was. Yeah, I didn't he was a retired sea captain. This man went around. This orc went around questioning him, and then threw him into the threw him into the water and drowned him. What, you held an old man down underwater. I didn't hold him down underwater. Uh, either way, it seems like <laughs> it seems like we're at a bit of an impasse here. So why don't you all just come up onto the ship? 
tie yourselves up in these nice little manacles that we have for you and join the rest of your crew while we decide what to do with you. Hey, Mr. DM. Oh, yeah. Can I get a read on how the crowd is? Are they, like, aggressive or fearful? They are aggressive. And Mac, you like it. I like the attention. In fact, Mac, you think if you tried, you could make them even more aggressive. <clears throat> uh, I mean, guys, did you know that, like, pretty much everyone in this town's a werewolf? Like, I wouldn't be so angry at us, because, like, everyone here is infected. We're not infected. No, no. We're, and they all look at each other. No, no. You're the infected ones. And until we see proof that this is... <clears throat> we just brought back, like, four people in the woods who are werewolves, and now they're running around in your town again. They're back at home with their friends and family. Turns out you pissed off an old druid grove. When you started, when Rune started strip mining the forest. But you knew that, didn't you? We had our suspicions, but we <laughs> needed the lumber. It was uh, a democratic decision. A democratic decision. So. Uh, I always find it funny when someone manipulates other people into making a decision through fear mongering and. That sort of thing, and then they say, oh, well, that's what people voted for. You're a coward. Catch. I'll throw him a silver coin. All right. Um, his cat-like reflexes suddenly spring into action, and he grabs it and holds it there in his hand. What were you expecting? Pass it around. Oh, pass it around. Give it to I'll your men. give the orders around here, and he just throws it away. Now... You were talking about giving a decision. That's pretty so good money. Why decision. would you do that? Get on this boat, or we turn you into porcupines. How's that? <laughs> oh. oh, the day I've had. Yeah, me too. Hey, Mr. DM. You I'm going to start charging up my elemental annihilation wave for a round. All right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, Mac begins collecting his energy. Erdin, Vlas, you know that time is of the essence. You have to come up with a clever plan or go along with it. What do you do? Phelan and Judy look to you. I know we have actions, but we'll just do what you tell us to do. No reason. Well, I currently have the high ground and archers. Yep. Let's get on board the ship and take away their advantage. Dramatic pause. <clears throat> do I still have my bear armor on? Yes, you do. Thank you. Dramatic resume. Besides, if they all decide to, uh, to surround us and we're quick enough, they'll be shooting themselves as well. All right, your room ship. We're Actually, coming on board. Dumbass. Actually, what? how long do you think it would take them to reload? Uh, what kind of crossbows are they wearing? Uh, uh, are they holding? They have. They look like. Uh, actually, Aridan, give me... Sorry, too many things are opening. Um, give me either a, uh, perception check or a, uh, crafting check. I have a lore warfare skill, if that helps. Oh, that's even better. Uh, give me, yeah, perception or lore warfare. Excellent. So, yeah, these are your, uh, it's as a cookie cutter of a crossbow you can get. Uh, they are not particularly well maintained. They are 
Um, you can see some of the wiring is rusty. One guy doesn't even have his loaded. He's just got a menacing stare on his face. Uh, the wood is very splintered and uh, a couple of them and each uh, quiver of bolts has um, kind of a variety. Some are jam-packed, some have just a couple left. Well, they have you in, they've definitely got you beat in numbers. They're not particularly well equipped. They're not soldiers. The crossbows are pretty standard. Yeah. Some of, some of them aren't even loaded. Yeah. And this bear armor I'm wearing is big gosh dang heavy. So what's your plan? Yeah. What do you say, say a little game of follow the leader? I charge in. They uh, fire off their first rounds at me. I can take a couple of I can take a few of them out as I pop, plow through. You come through and take out a couple more. I'll do you one better. Mm. Oh God, help me! Act remember, like one of, act like one remember. Sick. What? What? No, we're not even. Give me a minute. No, no, no. We're, we're not even. Oh, sick. What, by all means, you... take your time. Thank you. Would my annihilation there. wave go off by now? Absolutely. Would it be two so. turns? All right. Pew. Okay. Goes so right you. at the people on the ship. Sixty foot <laughs> cone. Everyone like, up there, probably. Like, look, don't we will come up with a solid plan. And... All right, Mac, explain, uh, <laughs> explain the effect of your, <laughs> your spell. If you spend three actions casting the spell, you can avoid finishing the spell and spend another three actions on your next turn to empower it even further. If you do, this spell is as three actions, <laughs> but the area is a 60-foot cone, and for one round, the elements linger in the cone, racing off into the distance and making approaching you difficult with the effects of the gust of wind. And they have to make a basic reflex save, or they take okay. uh, some pretty bad hits. Okay, um, so it's like uh, it's wind you're blasting them with. Uh, it's just elements in general. The I think actually the, the okay. fire is the effect, oh, but it acts better. like wind and pushes them away so they can't get closer. All right. Well, suddenly from Mac there is this gust of. Uh, it feels simultaneously hot and cold at the same time, and everybody, including Rune, just goes Wah! to the back of the boat. And I mean, all we can do is that. That's this. Uh, yeah. We are going to. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. We are going to cut to our intermission here. Uh, <laughs> Max still targeting Nore, actually, according to that. Um, She's always with me. And yeah, we will uh, we will be back with this exciting combat momentarily, folks. We will see you all soon. Woo. Not again. Bye, again, break. Just walk away. <laughs> Fine, you walk away. Tell me to walk away. Yeah.
Hello. So we will resume shortly, just waiting on Mr. Kurt Combrink. And uh, this morning, say hello to our audience, take a moment. Uh, Thank you all for joining us. It is very exciting to have uh, a live audience. Thank you for your comments in uh, in chat. Bright there, Queenie, you two are kind of like the uh, the backbone of our chat. Thank you very much. And again, if there's Mike, anything, how many people are currently watching? We've got four uh, four current viewers, a total of seventeen viewers. Awesome. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Slowly move ahead. Hello, good people. So, thank you all very much. There's our boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you like so lazy forever. For real. <laughs> he can't hear you yet. I was talking what? behind his back. What's going on? ERG, hello. We were just talking about how cool you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's old news to blast, so. <laughs> it's like, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna vanish, BRB. <laughs> God, so we will... <laughs> you just. We... we will begin with uh, Judges' recap. Uh, now, Judges, um, uh, Hasn't been uh, any combat yet, but please let us know um, what are your thoughts. Uh, what are your thoughts so far? Even if you don't have many numbers in the categories yet, just uh, tell us uh, tell us what you've been enjoying or what you did not enjoy. Oh yeah, I forgot to say. Let's uh, let's start with Tom. Yeah, no worries. Uh... First and foremost, I appreciate the call back to Turtles and Kayla. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let's see here. Um, I love the idea of squatting at the inn, if that was a possibility. Also, Charlie, just the things you incorporate into your family history. <laughs> I, I just, I'm always amazed. And then you throw in a South Park reference. <laughs> Of all things, and like, like I am so glad I'm on mute sometimes because I feel like I would just destroy everything that was happening because I laughed so hard. And I, I think just, for, oh sorry, no, um, there there was one reference I specifically threw in there for Kosh. Uh, the Swamp Duck yeah. was a D. It was a D and D reference to a game that I ran for Kosh and a couple of our friends, and it broke the game for about ten minutes. Because I just kept going on, and these friggin' trolls were just like stewing over a bowl, going, You hear that? Oh, it's a majestic swamp duck. And it just, it was an on running gag. It went on for frickin' ever. Um, but I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my absolute favorite thing so far was. Ryan, that annihilation cone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the moment, the the moment you were like, "Can I, I'm gonna start charging?" So I'm like, "Oh shit, it's gonna get real." <laughs> yes, I got so excited. But yeah, that's uh. It, Mike, do you want me to go through my through through, through my breakdown? Uh, yeah. So far, sure. Okay, yeah. So I have Ryan, uh, leading, Charlie, and then of course my my love, your love, last the ass. Right. Thank you very much, Tom. And uh, James. James. Well, thank uh, you for going first. The uh, the pause I needed was to let the fire truck pass. <laughs> oh. 
No, uh, so far so good. Really enjoyed it. Um, nice little somber uh, mood after the uh, events of last uh, last game, but you know, very good. And puns were great. And the or we can do that is always one, is, was a great line. So far, so good. Woo! Thank you very much. All right. And with that, um, let's get right back to it. So, you have currently uh, a bunch of distressed sailors uh, <laughs> quickly scrambling to their feet. Mac has just finished his uh, blast. Uh, Judy quickly loads her crossbow, Phelan knocks an arrow. But they turn to you three. The pressure's on. What do you do? Do you board the ship? Do you run back? Yeah. Just look at Blossoms. All right. How about it? Yep, let's do it while they're down. All right. So, you all charge up onto the ship as they, uh, they scramble to get their footing. And, uh, I think this is a, uh, I'm going to throw in a, uh, an improv game here. Well, uh, I quickly set up a battle map, but I would like to do a variation of, stop this music. Uh, I don't, I don't know that game. <laughs> I'm going to do prompts. Not ah. only has, uh, Max... Uh, elemental blast uh, pushed the sailors out of the way, but you guys are now trying to jump onto the ship, climb up the scaffolding, but something's in the way. You um, <coughs> now the person. Um, if it's Charlie's turn, um, uh, Kurt has to come up with something uh, bizarre for uh, Charlie, t uh, blocking Charlie's way. And Charlie has to come up with a creative solution to remove it. Only the chat or the judges uh, can give a thumbs up to let them know if they have succeeded. So uh, we'll go with that example. We will start with uh, 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 Aridin. Then we will go to uh, Vlas. And then in the rear is Mac. So Ari er, Vlas, tell Aridin, or er, Aridin, let Vlas know your route. And Vlas, you come up with something that's blocking him. I am absolutely not going to climb that thing. He wanted us on board, which means, uh, which is why he lowered the gangplank. I'm going to just go up there. Hey, real quick, watch, watch out for that up there. Watch out for what? They were sweeping the, uh, the what was inside the intestines of the, the the serpent after I blew them up. It's all coated in there. Watch it. Oh, come on. Why is it on the deck? It, it was all over the boat. I mean, you know. Oh, God. All right. Um, um, all right. It's going to be hard to grip with all that all over it. Title of my next romance novel. Right. So... <clears throat> going to uh, prove my mother wrong. Take the shield off, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run and like kind of skateboard the shield kind of under my feet and slide across the entrails <laughs> to where I need to be. <laughs> All oh, right. That was, that was creative. Chat, judges, can we get a thumbs up or a thumbs down on that solution? All right, Erdin, you arrive on deck of the ship, and just a quick question: Can anybody see it? Because I actually can't see the map at the moment. Uh, uh it's black. Nope. Um, it's just like a black screen with the yeah, three character. Yeah, I'm getting that too, and I'm wondering why. This. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I see the outlines of the. Yeah, this is weird. Toggle darkness on and off. Uh, presets here. How did this? Hmm. How did this map leave off? It's because you oh, touch yourself at night. That's why it's not working. 
I do that during the mid afternoon, so I don't. Right, know but why. it's all. Oh, okay. Well, if you show us you your hands it. or your palms, Harry. I thought that was just a myth. Anyway, there are other uh, ship maps I can use. But, all right, so, Aridin, when the ship mm. eventually uh, is mm. here, you will be on it. Now, uh, Vlas, uh, what route are you taking to get up? And then, uh, Mac, you will, uh, you will tell Vlas what's in his way. Is there still a gaping hole? <clears throat> is there still that gaping hole in the side of it? Like, on the upper part, where... It the whole blew apart. Yes. All right. Well, since I'm heavier than crap, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and hop up and hop a bit through the hole and come up, come up out of the, come up through the stairwell. Now, before you do, a hand comes up and grabs your ankle, and right. it is made up of different bits of like skeleton bones and muscle and cartilage and hey, some no, parts no, no, no. skin not decaying but regrowing it is Nathan Fielder slowly gaining his body <laughs> back hey, what is this is... What? what is this no I... no it's me Nathan Fielder no oh, please god no no no, oh, all my not worst nightmares at once. No. Nope. I'm gonna I, reach over and grab a piece of I'm gonna re this idea. <laughs> I'm gonna reach over and grab this piece of wood by the crates. I'm gonna beat it off with a stick. We can no. use me as no. an attraction to what? No, me. Yes. No. Ow. I see what you're Judge it. <laughs> it's really bothering oh, me. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're just being mean. How about chat? James. <laughs> uh, sounds sorry, like James, Nathan is that a Fielder thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> thumbs up? Okay. So we got a split decision. Uh, so I'm going to just do... Uh, all right. Uh... Actually, Tom's uh, classic as a GM. Uh, Kurt, odds or evens? Odds. Kurt, I'm afraid you remain in the grasp of the skeletal hand no! of Nathan no! Filter. No! Mac, uh. you see this going on, and you... Uh, you need to find your own way up uh, up the ship's deck, and Aridin, you will I... be uh, you will be uh, giving him his uh, his prop. Okay. Well, I am loving the chaos and the performance and the the rage. So I'm just gonna make an entrance. I'm gonna use my wings. And just jump myself up. All right. So you flutter your little wings, and as you're kind of, as you're slowly about to set down, there's a cow. Just a very large dairy cow. Tied to the hull. Just staring at you, directly in your way. And your wings are getting tired because they're kind of tiny. Well, and this cow was ruining everything. I'm gonna use my feral shades. I'm just gonna have these ghostly apparitions of. They were originally just wolves, but now they look a lot like the werewolves we've been facing. Just come out of the mist and start tearing this cow to shreds. All right. So old Bessie here is going to have to make a will save. That escalated so quickly. <laughs> I know. All right. What's the DC to be, Ryan? The... Never mind. Uh, it's... No. <laughs> she rolled a three. Uh, so... It was a fortitude DC 21, by the way, if you were curious. Okay. It's, um... All right. So 
uh, Mac the kobold hovering there suddenly unleashes <laughs> this miasma that takes on the form of wolves. And Bessie starts freaking out and jumps overboard, uh, swimming safely away. <laughs> Judges. <laughs> Judges and chat. We got a thumbs up or a thumbs down. All right. So Mac is a, flies over uh, Vlast the ass. He's struggling on the edge, trying to <laughs> escape the grasp of Nathan Fielder. As uh, the pirates all uh, swarm around them. No. Blast. Blast. What? Why are you not? We had a plan. You would walk. You go in front, and then we would. This was the plan. You're not here. What are you? What are oh. you doing? Oh, oh! You're not gonna believe this. Our old buddy Nathan Fielder is down here trying to sell me a pitch. Then threaten to unionize. Just get it over with. I threaten to unionize. Unions <laughs> mean nothing when you hire off Craigslist. The bulletin God. board run by Craig in the town center. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on. Hang on, hang on, wait a minute. I know I still have one somewhere. Somewhere, where is it? By fire with fire. I'm gonna pull out one of the one of the Nathan Builder pins I have from whenever I used his body as a weapon. And he <laughs> Also, I just remembered the best analogy I have is um, if you've ever watched Full Metal Alchemist, when like Lust gets burnt to a crisp in flame and then just starts regrowing everything from scratch, that's kind of what I was envisioning with Mr. Fielder. <laughs> let's see, let's see if you like this. It tastes of yourself. I'm gonna take the pin. I'm gonna stab it in his friggin' arm. Alrighty. Uh, the way this will work, Kurt, is it'll essentially now um, you'll get to exit or you'll get to enter the battle <laughs> on your next turn. All right. So everybody, roll initiative, please. Pen just goes through the skeletal part of his arm. Wow, that's uh. Right in a row. Damn, alrighty. Woo! Oops, oh, I hate this story. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put you in the initial order. Everybody. Oh, Curtis. Hello, Curtis. Curtis is coming on. Whoa. Alrighty. Uh, all right. Uh, Curtis, feel free to talk in the chat. Uh, don't, uh, sorry, dramatic pause. Uh, don't worry about Sirenscape. I've got that covered for now. Um, and we've just got about uh, 25 minutes to uh, finish up. All right, so... Also, and... friendly reminder, they should all probably have 12 damage from the wave. Thank you. I did actually write that down in my notebook and then didn't... Uh... Alrighty. Oh, I'm giving them temporary hit notes. Right. And they should have trouble moving. I think it's like half speed. Thank you. Alrighty, and so we begin with Mac. It is actually your turn. What would you like to do? Let me just, uh...
<laughs> well, I believe um, I can target the. I, God, I hate selecting in this game so much. Um, from Farmer 2 to Human Sailor 1, I think it reaches. I'm just gonna use another feral shape. Have more werewolves just attack them. Barely foot cone, does that sound right? I'm guesstimating here. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so they make a reflex save or fortitude save. Yeah. You should get like basically everyone in front of me. Excellent. Uh fortitude DC twenty one. <laughs> so from farmer two? Farmer 2 to Human Sailor 1 is my estimate. Alright, Mac. You unleash uh, your the wolves in their miasma again, and everything is a hit. Do I have to roll a saving throw? No, you're... Uh... You are out of the threatened square. It also says uh, it only targets foes. Oh, cool. All right. All right. Ah, Where do my allegiances all... lie? They all wince and fall back. And Mac, funny that you say that because you're starting to the the wolves in the mist rip at their flesh, and the blood hits the wood and it makes you angry that you can't soak up that blood because that's not your wood your wood is here on your arm but it's making you want to reach out and get it by the way where's rune uh rune is going to be human sailor too because i don't okay. have a cat folk pirate for him. um I'll, I'll let you decide this based on your your opinion of what counts as an action. All right. I definitely want to just scoot up right up to him mm -hmm. and just hold out my arm and scoop it up. Scoop up the blood? Yeah. All right, as you do. I don't know if that counts as two actions or not. That's up to you, but... Nope, that's uh, just a move action. And I'll be uh, Aaron just got home and said hello. Hi, Aaron. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, she's already left. No, right. come back! So, Dude. Mac, you start scooping up the blood to the horror of everybody. Ah! Oh, his hand is made of wood! He's soaking up the blood! And this brings us now to Aaron. Uh, <clears throat> game. This brings us to Aaron. There we go. You people are so fickle. Oh no, he's a werewolf. Now his well, now his arm is made of wood. Fuck off. I'm going to move. Uh, from my spot, I'm going to throw my shield at Rune and then move forward, catch it, and then continue uh, pummeling him. Alrighty. So, Aaron, give me a uh, target for you there. Uh, Aaron. Throw your shield. Alright. The shield connects, ricocheting off his sternum. You ca definitely catch it back. He takes all of five points of damage. He sort of chuckles. <laughs> Is that the best you've got, big man? And then you start pummeling him. Uh, second attack is a 25, and let's do the third attack here. That's probably not going to hit. So the second attack, uh, yeah, 10. <laughs> is that the best you got? As you just, you punch him so hard you see his jaw go back. No, that was the distraction. He quickly turns his head. <laughs> his claw, 
claws piercing through his gloves. I kind of wish you didn't do that. Now, Vlas, you managed to escape the grasp of Nathan Fielder. Ah! Vlas, give me an athletics check as you try to pull yourself up, kicking, <laughs> kicking Nathan Fielder's arm back down. You are now on board the ship. You get there just in time to see Aridan smacking Rune right in the face. Meanwhile, Mac has put his hand into a pool of blood on the floor. Uh, nope. Aridan! You need some help? Oh! Look who decided to join! Yes! That was a cow. I was going to I was going to uh, rely on that. But since it's gone, you can you can make yourself useful. Pick someone and stab them. Not us. Thank you for the clarification. All right. Mm -hmm. so let's see. So blast around you. There's a a couple of uh, the crossbow farmers. They're wearing very tattered leather. They've got uh, these rickety crossbows that Aaron had pointed out. And they're not in a particularly threatening formation. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with my... I'm just gonna sit there and just pretty much, I guess, like, yell or at them as loud as I can to see how much I can in intimidate them. All right, so. Well, that didn't work. Actually, believe it or not, this uh, farmer three right next to you, uh, you roar, and it's your sound is drowned out mostly by the uh, the sound of battle, but this one farmer ah! gasps. And he is frightened by you. Okay. Now that he's frightened by me. Which one was it? I so he's a. Upside down. Okay, so he he's a. His feet are now firmly planted on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll go ahead and use my. Dramatic pause. I can't remember which one it was. Was it sneak attack or is it a brutal beating that I can use when they're. It's a sneak attack. Um, in your case, when a character is flat footed or uh, intimidated, um, your sneak attack damage goes up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go over to him, and I'm gonna throw him in the water. <laughs> All right. Please be the grandson. Please be the grandson. <laughs> okay, it's uh, uh, the sneak a sneak attack specifically does extra damage. Um, but this is this is still really funny. This is now just uh, an uh, athletics check to see if you can grab him and throw him. Alrighty. Um, unfortunately, you go to pick him up, and he just starts. Ah, he's so scared of you. He just starts <laughs> slapping at you. Get, put me down! Put me down! Put me down! You killed my grandfather. <laughs> okay, you went down. Fine. I just throw him down onto onto the deck as hard as I can. <laughs> All right. All right, and that. Uh... <laughs> that, I'm afraid, is your turn. So, now, Aridin. Um, mm -hmm. Rune Glowers. Okay, my turn. And he is going to slash at you with his scimitar. Um, 
Meredith. You you go to block the the blow with your shield, but he is very quick, and he gives you a gash across the thigh. He then quickly retreats, um. jumping up onto a barrel. Can I use the shield block um, ability? It costs a reaction. When you have your shield raised, you can... And uh, you would take damage from the physical attack. Snap your shield in place to ward off a blow. Shield prevents uh, you from taking an amount of damage equal to the shield's hardness. You and the shield each take any remaining yeah. Then possibly breaking or destroying the shield. Yeah, so, you can. Um, so if you're to raise your shield, um, unfortunately, even with your shield raised, it is still a hit. I yeah. Believe your shield raise uh, puts your AC up to 24. Um, the hit was 25. So you go to raise your yeah. shield. Um, well, it it reduces the damage. Uh, that it, it reduces does. the damage, not the not the attack. So, like, the yes. attack hits, it's just... Uh, shield hardness is 10. Excellent. So you're only taking two. I can uh, fix that on your sheet for you. No. Right. is now just two. Excellent. So you manage to nick the shield, or nick his, the sword blade down with the edge of your shield, getting only a minor scratch on the leg as Rune quickly, deftly dodges his way up. The rest of the ship. Now, <laughs> look at the cut of my leg. You know, you know. Okay. The other sailors come running in. He's gonna attempt to hit you, Vlas. And it is a successful hit. Vlas, you take 12 damage. Then moves up to get behind Aridin. A quick question: Should we have fully healed? No, uh, not from okay. a uh, overnight rest. It's a little more difficult. Okay, I'm just not sure how that works. Uh, this farmer is afraid and um, tries to back away from Vlas. Sailor comes up. You should have stayed gone. And tries to attack you, Charlie. And you take 13 damage from another scimitar. And these farmers come around and attempt to hit Mac. Miss. Second attack. Can't hit Mac, have I? That's a scary boy. Mm -hmm. This guy runs in. I guess they're most of them are still slow, so I guess they're not. Not slow, just like. And that guy have, dies immediately. Oh. oh yes, and uh Judy, who was there the whole time, uh, takes a shot at Rune. Continues. Did you remember Phelan? Uh, she's dealing with the other characters right now. It's uh, so I don't have to play too many NPCs. You did, you did say there was more, like sixteen of them. Yeah. There's I can't more. Believe you just forgot about Alexander. Wow. <laughs> you, you're like, oh, where's Phelan? Not where's Alexander? <laughs> huh? I see how it is. Alrighty, and suddenly. Mac, you don't like 
that this guy tried to take a swing at you. You get very angry. And you stand up, and your twig-like fingers reach through his neck, and you hold him aloft. I win. The battle stops as a lot of people look on in horror. Mac's feet begin bursting through his boots, his toes becoming long spider-like vines soaking in the blood and infesting the ship. Something is not uh. right. Mac, this blood feels amazing. You could... <clears throat> You could soak up the blood from all of these people. Every single one of them. Hey, buddy. What, um, what you got there? What's with the growth spurt, little guy? Mac, you don't know what to say. You just feel violent, and all of a sudden, Mac bursts Gro inches falls from his hands Charlie the wide-eyed puppet landing at your feet staring up at you Mac becomes the tree the roots gnarling into the wood of the ship oh, the God. sailors all begin screaming running and jumping off the ship. Yeah, that's probably <gasps> the best. You see a look of rune, uh, a, a look of horror, runes, bright white eyes as he jumps over the, jumps off the ship. One by one, the sailors escape. And as this happens, you guys hear from down below, help! Help! We're trapped down here! The familiar voice of Skip and Selena. What do you do? Phelan, <laughs> do me a favor and track Rune. Tree or the uh, tree or I guess downstairs. Don't look at the last. Try and grab him. Do you want upstairs or downstairs? You need to make a decision. This is this is kind of a important thing right now. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just a little freaked out right now because he kind of he put his fingers through the guy like he, twelve uh, hours ago. You were putting your intestines back in your torso. Fuck the hell up, man. You know what? Fine. All right, fine. I'll, I'll take turn. top. Let's go. Oh. I, it's me, Nathan Fielder. I'm still... God damn it! No, uh, no, 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 no. All right. So the scythe tree swings. Flash. Better at it this time. And you were able to get around this mighty swing. And you dive underground. Not this time. Skip. Selena and the rest of the crew are tied up throughout the cargo hold. You see, Skip has managed to use his tusks to chew through his gag. 
For the love of God, get us out of here! Pipe down! Bigger problems up here! Alrighty. Eridan, what are you doing? All right, so... Mac has... You said burst, so... Like, his form just kind of... Splecked. Yeah. And then the tree was there. All right. So I am uh, operating under the impression that... Um, Mac is no more. All right. Well then. Ah, oh, I was just starting to like that little fucker. Right. Well, time for you to go. Um. And I am going now. This is another design for the ship, but the other one had ballista. The uh, bow of the ship, and on the sides, and on the stern. Are they still there? Uh, just at the bow, the uh, stern, or sorry, just at the stern, the bow, uh, that ballista and a lot of the other things got blown off. Um, the cannons were there along the sides as well. So the cannons are there. Uh, the cannons and, sorry, the uh, stern ballista. Oh, wonderful. Okay, um, I am going to stick around the tree and just kind of, like, disengage from it to see if I can tactically get to the stern and load the, uh, load the ballista and use some siege weaponry against this thing. All right. So... Uh, give me an athletics check as you attempt to manipulate the ballista. No, come on, you bloody big bust. Oh, of course you're stuck. You having trouble? Yep, it's fine. <coughs> More reason to wait, Trey. <laughs> Body strength is important. Yep. So, Charlie, you attempt to. Oh, maybe that's why I'm missing an L. Charlie, you attempt to. There it is. That's just a regular. You attempt to uh, crank this thing back, but. Um, it's been a while since it's been maintained, and the uh, crank on it is just a little too uh, too heavy for you. Vlas. Oh, God damn it! What do you do? I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Trying to think. So the blood's making him stronger, right? You can speculate, but you do not know. Uh, I mean, what a tree. What a tree's not like. Fire. Okay. No McAfee, go away. Um. All right, I'm gonna take out my torch. I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna come running up at. I'm gonna come running up, running up at the damn thing and try and see if I can't get it to. Maybe start backing away from the blood. See if I can. All right, Vlas. You take out your torch and light it, and you attempt to threaten it. Give me an intimidation check, unless you want to. Um, are you trying to get it to back off, or 
do you actually want to burn it? The choice is yours. Hey, Erden, should I try to burn it? No, it's on a wooden ship. Okay. Oh, oh God, I have a plan, and you're not going to like it. What? Replace the blood with rum. What is strong, that going to do? Strong alcohol is a very, it, it, it's a very good cleaning thing for wounds. It also somewhat disperses blood. And if it's getting power from blood, then let's dilute it and possibly get it drunk. Upside gonna... is drunk tree. Downside, we out of rum. No, no, I'll be right back. Hang on. I run down into the, down to the cargo bay of the ship. Figured All right. Really gets to throw another barrel. All right, Flas. Um, so you run down into the cargo bear, uh, the cargo hold of the ship, where you see uh, your tied up shipmates. Selena, Skip, uh, Humpa, Sa, <laughs> even the uh, slowly reincarnating form of Nathan Fielder. Uh, where's the rum? It's over there! Untie us and maybe we can help you! I ain't got time. Here. Take the dagger. Do it yourself. Come here! With what? Uh. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> All right. So, Kurt, you are able to secure a barrel. Uh, then we go to Judy. <clears throat> Judy is going to help you. Uh, or it's Judy's turn. So, <clears throat> Judy is uh, going to ask for your help. Here, help me load the ballista. Right. And if you can give me a uh, an athletics <laughs> check, Charlie. Again. Better than the three that All I rolled right. last time. Mm -hmm. So, with that, Judy attempts to bring back the. Uh... Bring back the string, and it is successful. So, uh, it's successfully been loaded, and now Judy carefully aims it. The scythe tree grows. And begins sending its scythe blades out, carving up the sides of the cannons. Its roots come ever closer to you. Come it. fails to knock over the cannons. In fact, it gets hurt a little bit by the cannons. Aridin, the ballista is loaded and ready to go. <clears throat> okay, um, can I... I'll, I'll look at Judy as the... Get behind... Uh, get behind the... And get, the get behind the ballista. Put it up against your, uh, your upper chest, hold it steady, and then pull it towards you. Do not jerk it, otherwise it, uh, the bolt will go somewhere else. Now, can I use its nat one failure to try and like get rid of the cannons to get give me a boost to move one of the cannons into position as well? Yeah, I'll allow. Sweet. I will do that. I'm just kind of imagining it like slapping the uh the cannon and the cannon just kind of like almost pointing to him so there we go i'm back so what am i rolling for that uh is that another athletic check to launch or a warfare the... or a warfare check to uh set the um the cannon 
I know, the cannon is just if you wanted to, uh, um, I'll get you to cash in your rose for that if you don't mind. So the cannon yeah, is no worries. Our, uh, yeah. Uh, the cannon is now facing the, uh, the tree. Cool. Um, Take out uh, the flint and steel that I have and just smile cannon. and light it. Right. Oh, you're not currently by the cannon. Oh, shit. Oh. Where's so the cannon? So you would have to use your turn to move over to the cannon. Sorry, I thought I was missing something. <laughs> you're by the ballistas. Okay, so where's the, where's the cannon? Sorry, cannon is over here, this weird U-shaped thing. Um, ah, I okay. The then yes, I, I will, I, I will uh, acrobatic my way across the... Um, uh, across the... Uh, the vine work and uh, all right. And give get me the a uh, give me an acrobatics check as you try to. Hmm. Excellent. All right. So you are able to dodge around these vines without them uh, causing uh, causing any damage, and you are at the cannon now. The um, the cannon is currently aimed, but it will still take another. Uh, the way it works, you still have to load it. Yeah. Load. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right, so you moved over there, uh, so it will take an action to load, and another or two actions to load. So that'll be your turn. Is loading the cannonball. Yep. Give me an athletics check as you. Uh, pack the powder in, and heave a cannonball into it. Can I? It's it's the no, it's the same thing. Never mind. I was gonna say, can I use the warfare skill to load the cannon? But it's the same bonus, so it just one. Uh, Twenty-five. Nice. You're able to load the cannon. Packing the cannons, <laughs> Uncle Uncle Jasper would be proud. I'm pretty sure this is a personal best. <laughs> All right, Vlas, you are holding a barrel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this down at the blood as hard as I can to get it to bust. Hopefully, it'll start sucking up the alcohol and start disorienting it a little bit. All right, so Flass, you charge up. Give me an athletics check as you attempt to shatter the barrel at the edge of this tree. The barrel Alley shatters. Up. All right. Um, it splatters around the barrel of or the base of the tree. For the time being, you can see no reaction. Vlas, is there anything else you would like to do on your turn? You see Aridin prepping the cannon. Uh, you can't quite see where Judy went. Uh, and you see a few of the sailors swimming away, screaming. Your comrades below deck still shouting. I can't remember, does he have the cannon turned yet? Yes, yeah. he does. He got a free aim action for his, uh, uh for the nat one. It, it, it fucked up, I capitalized. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, so we can finish loading the cannon, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep its attention on me. Hey! Little guy, the uh, big wooden friend! Yeah, hey! I wanna be friends, too! Come here! Yeah, All don't right. you want to be friends with the big orc? Alright. Judy launches the ballista bolt. Alrighty, and... Dramatic pause is always something I found weird. Um, even something like a stationary object, like a tree, or it gets a reflex save, but hey, so be it. Weird. Yeah. 
probably to account for just natural armor stuff. Yeah, that's kind of how the book explains it, but I was uh, alrighty, and lo and behold, the tree does not make its reflex save. into the tree's flesh or barky flesh anyway and but you see what looks like blood spilling out from underneath the tree gives out a low pained moan and lashes out Aridin The tree throws its scythe branches at you, catching you across the shoulder, dealing 19 damage, Damn. cutting you open. Oh. Mm. Makes a second attack. Um. Misses. Instead, releases a low, uncomfortable moan. And this, and it reminds you of the noise made by Nore, but you are able to shake it off. Aridin, the cannon is loaded and ready to fire. I'm like holding my shield, <laughs> pulling on the strap of my shield to secure it to the arm. You know, the flint. Get off my ship, you bitch. All right. So you launch it at the tree. The tree fails its reflex save as... Boom. Launch a cannonball directly into it. The cannonball sends splinters flying in all directions. You see it embedded in the thick of the tree. You can see as if the tree is bleeding and healing around it. Aaron, oh. what else would you like to do with your turn? <clears throat> now, this thing has, uh, is it like on the deck or is it like rooted in the deck? It is uh, rooted in the deck. Oh, oh, I have a really bad idea. Oh, uh, well. <clears throat> Blast! What? Scuttle the ship. Get it into the get it into the salt water. Yeah. Okay. And I will, uh, since I have my flint and steel out, light the rum on fire that's on the that's on the ground and all over its uh, the base of its roots. Right. So. Yeah. And I'll tell Judy, Judy, get off. All right. Judy, panics, jumps overboard. Aridin, you toss the the lit uh, flint uh, flintlock sticks into the spilling rum, and just gonna do a flat D twenty check, and it goes up pretty quickly. 
the base of the tree getting engulfed in flame. Glass. The rum around the tree shoots up in a ring of fire. The tree sways as if being pushed around in heavy wind. The roots carving up the floorboards and the planks. What do you do, Vlas? Aw, oh, come on. We just got those! Uh, wait a minute. He's waiting. He's waiting around. Sail! Aradin! Sail! Aradin! What? Grab one of the ropes to the sail. I'll grab the other. All right. Just tie. It. Just tie. It. Tie it to any. Tie it to anything on it. All right. So, blast. In order to do this maneuver, you will have to cross over. Um, the only sail is brings you dangerously close to the tree. Will you risk going that close as its scythe blades swing around, threatening to grasp at you? There is also the trouble of the roots gripping the floor and thrashing around. Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. So, Blast, while you're in this area, you can only move at half your speed. <laughs> uh, because there are now more than when Charlotte was there, and they are more sinuous now. So, Vlas, give me an athletics check as you try to grab hold of the loose swaying rigging. You're able to grab one of the clamps controlling yeah. the sails. All right, come here. What's the last thing you would like to do on your turn? I'm gonna go ahead and tie it to one of the big, one of the biggest, biggest branch that's closest to me. Right. So, uh, one final athletics check, please, Vlas, as you attempt to. Very good. You were able to tie it on. That's how we do it in the scouts, baby. Judy has abandoned ship and swims to shore. Now the scythe tree attacks. Eridan. Miss. How about that? You <laughs> dodge nimbly as uh, one of its scythe blades swings down at you. It winds up for another attack. This time nicking you. Aridin, you suffer another 21 points of damage. Ow. Hang on a minute. I just want to check the... Uh overall oh shit uh, I'm gonna use the shield block thing but it is going to absolutely destroy my shield alright Aridin, you block with the shield and fortunately you are a that brings your AC up to 24 meaning it um is not a successful hit at all. And you go back down, and we erase the attack. Hooray. <laughs> all right. Game for shields. And it is going to use its last uh, act to um, release its odd moaning hiss. 
once more. So both of you feel a great sense of discomfort as you can hear Mac's friendly little voice laughing in tandem with Noray's wicked cackle. You are both now frightened. <laughs> now, what is the uh, frightened condition do in Pathfinder. You are gripped by fear and struggle to control your nerves. The frightened conditions always includes a value, um, so you're frightened one. You take a status, um, so every d20 roll you do is going to automatically apply a minus one. Okay. Um, and then it will, um, As it progresses uh, at the end of push. each of your turns, the value, uh, but only for your very first uh Oh, sorry, uh, turn, not action. So it only lasts one round, essentially. Oh, okay. And it'll go away. Alrighty. It's your turn, though, bud. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. You're, you you're frightened, that. but now it's the start of your turn. Say anything. Uh, okay. Um, are those wounds correct uh, after the not getting hit? Uh, no. There we go. Hey. <clears throat> that makes me feel a little bit better. All right. Um, Let's see here. So it's currently on fire. I'm going to do a blast head and grab the uh, um, uh, the rigging. All right. And kind of like see if I can if I'm th if I'm guessing what he's planning is to kind of like cover uh, like I'm not cover it. Pretend I know what Flas is ever planning. <laughs> I'm guessing you. I'm guessing you want to like cover it in a very flammable blanket, which is just going to make things so much worse for it. No, actually, I'm just wanting to tie. I want to tie the sails to and let the sail, let the sail down. That's swaying so much and everything might help. Down. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Aridin, give me an athletics check, please. You're able to tie 20. a strong, efficient knot. All right. Um. <laughs> All right, knot's tied. Now what? I've given it a belt. We let down the sail. Oh, All right. And I'll just like kick that lever uh, that kind of like lets the, the rigging go. All right. Um, just do a flat D20 check. Yeah. And away it goes. The sail unfurls and the, the knots that normally uh, secure it to the base of the sail now tug violently at the tree. The whole ship begins inching back on the edges of its its moor lines, catching the wind. The tree no. writhes around, and the fire spreads up the trunk, making it very difficult to stay in your places. But Vlas the last turn of the night, and then we will cut the game here. Glass, what do you do? Well, obviously the fire's getting close to me, so I'm jumping out of the way. Alright. That would be athletics, I had. Alright, so, Glass, um, which direction are you trying to jump? You want to go up here? You want to go up here, or do you want to go in the water? I'm going to go the second choice. 
No, the other way. Down. Yeah. All right. All right. So Vless, you attempt to leave this uh, threat range. Um, you attempt to scurry away along the roots when one of the vines lashes out to grab you. <laughs> oh, but Flass. How about that? Flass, it did not get you. You are outside of its range. What do you do? That's you trying to think. Okay, it's, it's, it's on fire and it's still planted to the ship, right? Cut the mooring lines. Right. I'm going to cut the mooring lines. All right. In order to do that, you've got to go back around this area. It's going to take one hell of an athletics check to make sure you can uh, get through without getting hurt. Bless. You are the ass. Let's go. And... And Vlas, I would recommend you use your rogues. It is the last roll yes. of the night. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Go ahead and give it another give okay. uh, give it a second roll. Okay, sorry, my brain went. And that's even worse. How did Vlas, oh. okay. You go running through when one of these vines whips yeah. out, trying to get you once more. And this time it's a hit. Ah. <laughs> Blast, you take seven damage. Oh, for God's sake. Get up for someone who has that dagger that lights on fire. You're awful stingy when you're using it against something made out of wood. And Vlas, you stumble back as death closes in on you once more and fall into the water. Why and, me? And that is where we are going to end tonight's session, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what a twist! What a twist! So, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us tonight on the Actors' Indeed. Dungeon. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. We had a bit of a nefarious plan this whole time, but we appreciate uh, we appreciate you being here. We've got uh, a lot of people in the chat. Thank you so much. We got uh, a lot of people. Uh, watching 27 views for the whole thing so thank you guys very much nice. and now let's go with final scores all right uh tom why don't you take it away yeah absolutely uh there was a lot of fun battle mechanics go going on uh kurt one of the things i loved is how you used intimidate in battle but you used it in a way that I think not a lot of people do because the most important thing about intimidate is sorry with battling is people always always think that when you're doing something it has to be an attack roll. And for me, one of my favorite skills is, is intimidate because you can just go if you roll a time to go, go away from me, don't attack me, and they just leave you alone. So to me seeing that, I absolutely love love, love seeing that. Uh I loved I loved uh Charlie and Kurt Use to use together <laughs> to get the moorings, and I honestly thought you guys were actually going to try to like somehow hit the tree off with with the mast because uh, the way how it comes down, right? And try, you're gonna try, you have to swing it around, kind of not try, and knock it off, and just Ryan, I I have no idea what 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 you said during that time when you were on mute, but I could just see you just mouthing stuff. I'm like, this is interesting. This is because it looks like you and Mike have something planned. No, I was just I... laughing to myself. I haven't said a word oh. for the past like half hour. <laughs> Fair enough, but uh, Ooh, my the paranoia sets in. 
Yeah, or but was like my, I? You don't know. I don't know, but it was fun. But my score is completely changed, so it goes Kurt, Charlie, Ryan now. So, yeah. All righty. Thank you very much, Tom. Like I said, teamwork makes the dream work. All righty. And James, please uh, let us know your final scores. Well, I mean, uh, what can I say? But, you know, forcing Nathan Fielder to come back is always uh, worth some points there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought really it was time. Wondering. I thought it was a good time. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what is happening? But <laughs> oh, it's Nathan Fielder. <laughs> so I'm, I'm also going to say Mac, then Kurt, then Charlie for, uh, for the gameplay, for the, uh, for the performance. They, they, there's wealth of great lines in there from Charlie, and yeah, yeah, awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, my friends, for uh, being our judges. Um, if you got anything you'd like to plug or give a shout out to, or any uh, um, any other streamers or anything that uh, you want the community to know about, our uh, our wonderful uh, community of five is here and listening. Uh, I got nothing special. All righty. I will open it up to the players as well. If you got anything coming up that you want people to check out, uh, please feel free to let them know. Not yet. I'm just tired. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's it for us, everybody. We're the Actors Dungeon. Please uh, join us next time. Um, July 1st, I believe. Oh, I should check in on that because it might be... Uh, I believe some of you Yankees are having a good weekend that time, eh? Uh, I can't believe I'm... you just say that to us. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well. Make, if it makes you feel any better, the actual meaning of the word A was a Victorian colloquialism for I apologize if I am boring you with this conversation. <laughs> I did not know that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it can't get more Canadian than a Canadian like catchphrase actually meaning I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm just going to end it here. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Later. All righty. So we have stopped streaming. <laughs>